Everybody, thanks for tuning in today. I've got a wah pedal today. Uh, this has been sent to me from Doug at AMS. You can get this from um, any of your local music stores here in Australia that are uh, supplied by AMS, which is pretty much all of them anyway. So, uh, this is the Leo Nosen Tally Mardi Gras Crybaby. It is awesome. It's um, it's his signature wah. It's a really sort of darker sounding wah. Um, it's fantastic, but this is what Leo used all through his career, and this is his signature model, and seriously, have a look at this thing. It is absolutely gorgeous. You can see why it's called the Mardi Gras. It is sparkly, it is green and purple, it is covered in glitter, it is everything you could ever want from an amazing wire pedal. Now, just for something a little bit different, I've also got a um, the graphic EQ scopes up there, so you can see what it's doing. Thought that might be interesting for you all to have a look at. So, it's a crybaby, there is no bells, there is no whistles, it is just tuned perfectly to the frequency that uh, Leo wanted. So, um, this is it, this is my clean signal. I'm just going straight into the katana. Pretty clean, just a little bit of reverb. And this is the wah. I've got the computer um, off to my right here with the uh, the EQ going. Really fascinating to watch, and I'm a little bit uh, obsessed with it. So, there's a neck pickup on the telly, bridge pickup on the telly, but I think it's pretty cool in the middle position. It's pretty cool. It is really dark. It's um, it's it's got a pretty wide frequency band though. If you have a look on the um, on the monitors there, I'll try and do that thing that all the cool kids do. I think the monitors are going to be about here somewhere. So that's where uh, that's where you should be looking, or maybe maybe down here. Yeah, down here somewhere. And also, so you didn't have to look at my shoes for like five minutes while this video goes on, I put on a pair of socks with guitars on them. Yeah, so I've got guitar socks. Thanks, Tina, my sister-in-law, who bought me these. That is funky as. Yeah. So um, go check out Leo. Um, his band was called The Meter Man, I think, from memory. Don't hold me to that. All right, so now I'm going to put some dirt. There's a couple of different ways that people like to hook up their wire pedals. I like it with dirt in front, like this, because I find it makes it really snappy. Keep an eye on the uh, EQ. <laughs> So that's my blues driver going into the front of the wah pedal. Wow. 
So I like uh, my dirt in front of the wah pedal, uh, but most people would like their dirt after it. So I'm just gonna fire up some dirt on the katana. Which is also a blues driver, funnily enough. It's a lot more throaty and stuff with the uh, with your drive pedal after the wah. There's a copyright strike. So there it is, drive afterwards. Go back to a clean setting on the katana, and this is my blues driver in front of the wah pedal. <laughs> So there you have it, there's the Leo Nocentelli, 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 uh, Mardi Gras signature white pedal from Jim Dunlop, it's a crybaby, it is an absolute beauty, it is his signature model, it is tweaked to have the exact frequencies that he likes, um, so if you're into that sort of thing, if you're a funky dude, uh, but seriously have a look at it, look at the colours on this thing, they're just beautiful. Um, so uh, again, thanks Doug from AMS for sending me this to check out. AMS supply all your local music stores if you're here in Australia. So uh, get into your local music store and uh, get a crybaby up here, and you won't uh, you won't be sorry. <coughs> so thanks again for tuning in. I uh, hope you found the video useful. If you're looking for a new white pedal, uh, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and a like and a subscribe. It all helps the channel so much. And let's just bring you more cool content like this with cool pedals like this. So uh, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye.